How can we download and install Adobe Acrobat Reader for free on your Mac? The good news is the base version is still free, so you just simply need to search for it in Google and we're going to download it from the official website. So ignore first two results, they're always sponsor results and the result number three, get.adobe.com, that's the website. Click on that and you will be on the official Adobe website. So we are not getting this from like some shady sources. They got big blue button, download Acrobat Reader. Click on that. And as you can see now, I'm getting the install file. And they got this little help for us. We can click next here or we can open up our downloads. It will show in your browser or you can head all the way to your finder to the downloads folder. I will click on this here. And here it is. We got this installation file. I can double tap and the installation will start. Let's continue. Select where to install for only for me or for all of the users of this computer. Let's continue. We can change the destination, but for me, I will install this on the default drive. So I click install. They may ask you to confirm your password if you are the admin of this computer. And after the password is in, the program will be installed on your drive. It may take a few minutes. In my case, they predict it will take less than one minute. So that's good. And we got the installation completed. Screen with this big green check mark. We can click close. And we can move the installer to trash straight away. All right, let's close this website. Now I'm going to head to App Launcher, the one here at the bottom with all of my apps. And as you can see, the newest app, the one at the end of the list is Acrobat. So I click on that. When you launch it for the first time, you will need to agree to license agreement. So let's click agree. After we, of course, read it very carefully. Agree. And here we are. You can use it even without logging in to Adobe account or anything like that. We are in and now you can start opening your PDFs. And they will also ask you that do you want to make this as the default PDF reader. So if you click yes, all of the PDF in your system will stop opening in Apple Preview and start opening in Acrobat, all right? So be careful with that, it depends what you need. In my case, that's no. Okay, and I can simply open it up whatever I need. And they got like sample file for us as well to check it out. We can open this up. Here it is, all of the basic features of Acrobat here. Keep in mind there's also another version of Acrobat that is paid, okay? So keep that in mind. There are some limitation on it, but it will allow us to open PDF documents and make some basic editing in them. Okay, so that's what it is. Hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.